Hi guys! Alright, so today we are flipping through my Hobonichi Two Weeks. Um, really quick, just gonna stick the pens I used back in there because they were out because I've been planning in it. Um, so from the outside right now we have a um, So Much Craft, nope. So What Else Is New cover. This is the Permades fabric. Um, which is no longer available. She actually is all out of this one, and I got the very last one. Pardon me, smoothie break. Um, and then we have two Stadler pens um, in the darker gray and the fuchsia color. And then this little charm down here is some sort of phone charm my mom got me. Um, that I thought was cute because the mint teal color matches the background pretty well. Um, and then we pop it open and, ooh, the sticker stash, it got bumped. We have two magnetic pins from Happy Scrappy. This is the February kit and this is the March kit. And then stuck in here, we have, oop, where's the other one? Two little samplers from Dulce Planner. Um, I've used this one pretty much up. That is a Netflix binge sticker, and I don't have Netflix, so I'm probably not going to carry this sticker sheet around. I'm probably going to put it with my Netflix binge stickers. Um, I used to have Netflix, and then I stopped having Netflix, because I, I, guess, I guess I really wasn't using it all that much, but whatever, you know. Um, and we got this cute one that I'm saving for May, because my May theme is going to be Cat Cafe. Very excited for that. Very, very, very excited for that. Um, then we have, ah, so what else is new? Miss Dora, um, my cover, there's all of her info. And then Pockets Full of Sage is a local gal and she makes bags and stuff. And I have a really cute, um, jewelry pouch that I always carry with me. So I have this in case people ask me where I got that from. I'm also contemplating getting a custom bag to carry this guy around in and then my water bottle because I carry around a two liter water bottle with me every day because I'm nuts. And I just realized that I was putting my stickers like off screen while well, the binge one can stay off screen but that guy needs to go back in. Um, and then back in here I have sticker stash. Um, let's do the front. So I have leftover date covers from Happy Scrappy, some headers from Happy Scrappy. These are all from the Happy Scrappy March kit, which was um, Cherry Blossom, Sakura, Sakura, um, or was it, I think it was just actually called Blossom, and she recently did a release with all of this stuff in it, and I don't know if those are still available, this is what I have available, this is what I have left out of um, my half box sheet, date cover leftovers with, and these ones aren't the dates, these ones are um, cute little faces, kissy face, Smiley three face, lick your lip face, and a crumpy face, grumpy face. Um, and then I have these stacked mascots. One is ro uh, pink and the other is rose gold. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys yet. Probably I'm going to stick them down in cardstock and make them into bookmarks. Um, what I have left of the tabs. The sticky notes. I don't have a pen that can actually write on these at the moment. So I feel really silly for having used the one I did, but whatever. Um, leftovers from this month's clear sticker sheet. This was a freebie from Cat Espresso Co. I bought um, from her original, original pre-sale last year. It's almost been a year, guys. Almost been a year for them. Smoothie break. Okay, cool. There's also totally car noise, but... You guys, you guys don't mind, right? You don't mind car noise. I have, um, oh gosh, I don't remember what that stands for. Um, I'll figure it out and I'll link it. I'll link everything. Um, I don't think you can actually buy these because these are, like, a, these were a, a freebie sampler thing that came with my, um, little slippy clip thing. I'll find it and show you. I think it's in my... Uh, Japanese practice binder, but these ones are stayed up, stayed up too late coffee stickers. And these, are, these are my last two. These were this was a freebie from Simpl Simply Laura Paper Shop here in Florida, and it was like a big, big sheet of uh, bow clips on glossy. I'm not a super fan of glossy, but I've still found a way to use them as well because I didn't 
Like, I never used bow clips, but having gotten this sheet of bow clips, I have, I have had this sheet for almost a year, not gonna lie, and it's not a huge sheet of bow clips, but, like, my likelihood of buying another couple of sheets of bow clips is increased because of this. Um, then we have Control Art Kawaii, two, $2 Tuesdays, these are from forever ago. Um, if I can find these sheets are similar, as you can tell, like, they're very used up. Um, this one is from The Planner's World. This is her Happy Under the Sea Happy Mail with Mermaids and Stuff carrying packages. Oh, man. That Happy Scrappy Daily insert is super chunky. Alright. And then we have Happy Mail. This one's not as used up. Because I have been using this one. And then I had had a different sheet as well that was a lot cuter. This one is a little bit more neutrally. So I feel like I can use it with more spreads. But because I do usually use spreads that are very blue oceany, I can get away with that. And these are beach day. I don't go to the beach very often. Despite the fact that I live in fucking Florida. I don't know why. Oh, and then this is just a random piece of card stock that I use for like blotting and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. So, now to the good part. Sorry, I'm trying desperately to stay in frame. That is what this washi tape business all about is, for, is about. I feel like I keep knocking my, like, um, tripod. <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a stack of photo boxes and some bamboo, bamboo stakes holding up my phone right now so I can film. It is... It's a good time. But all right, to get into the meat of the business, we have my strawberry weeks, my strawberry 2019 weeks. It is a regular weeks because it is the spring April start. Technically it started in March, but technically even it started in February, but we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say nothing. It's April start. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got it in strawberry latte and I got the Quiet Harbor clear cover. Um, you can obviously see this string here. This is a random ass butt jump band I just stuck in here so I could make sure that my happy scrappy insert was stuck in nicely because I put the tab right there so I can slip it in here. Um, so I'm going to slip that out to show you what I've got decorating in here. So we have business card for my work. We have a sticker from one of my favorite candies. Peito. It's delicious. It's literally just sugar color and corn potato starch, but they're so good. Um, my per favorite perfume. Two really adorable stickers from Happy Mail. Um, I got these from a gal in Bangkok, I believe. Not sure. Not 100%. Don't remember. Um, I got these at Daiso forever ago, back when I lived in Washington. It's not really been a forever. It's been like a year and a half, but it feels like forever because so much shit's changed. <laughs> um... And then I have these, uh, little, like, you can probably hear that. They're, like, vinyl, acetate, I don't know what this material is called, but they're the sticky tabs. Um, and then I have a piece of acetate with my April, um, washi tapes on it, because April is cherry blossom season, so this is, this is a Michaels washi. These are two random ones I got off of Amazon, and this one I got at a local shop here in town, um, before they closed. Um, sadly they closed, but they were, like, all sorts of cute Japanese stuff. Oh, and then there's little cactuses, um, that I bought from Sticker Me Stickers. She has a whole bunch. Um, <coughs> and then we move into the, um, I'm gonna sit and just hope that my dumb ass stays in frame. All right. yet another smoothie break. You might actually see my head from this angle. <laughs> um, okay, maybe in plan with we do if we do plan with these. Okay. So this is the Happy Scrappy Amy Plans collab printable. This is a daily for this month. Usually she does like weeklies or like just, you know, different styles. Um, these tabs are from her. So we have the daily and the tracker at the back. On the inside I have, this is the label sticker from this month's washi tape, which is one of those rose colored days ones that's like a clear glitter overlay, watch me struggle. Um, 
clear glitter overlay one um, that has the 1.5 perforations on it. So it's really, really handy for decorating on the go. Um, and then I have some cute sticky notes that I bought at Michael's the other day. They should still have them, and I don't know if they're still on sale, but um, when I picked them up, they were a dollar instead of their usual two dollars. I know that's not a whole big difference, but a dollar's a dollar-ish. Um, okay, oh, I'm gonna pull out that pin. That is my like day pin. Oh, I also got those at Michael's. They were also on sale for a dollar. I hope that that's in frame. I hope I'm in frame and I hope that not everything is getting super dark because it looks really dark from my angle. Um, yeah, we'll slap that down. Um, so we have what I was going to use for my kits in here for April. It's totally shot at this point because nobody, like nothing's moving. Like my post is not coming. I'm so, ex I'm so extremely aggravated. Um, and then I have goals, I have personal and work. Um, that, like, I don't really have any personal goals at this moment. Like, like sure, I wanna get back into the habit of practicing Japanese every day, but it is now officially not the priority um, because of the kit. Uh, the kittens. Oh, did I say that? Did I mention that here? Um, today is Wednesday the freaking something -ith. When Wednesday the 10th. Um, and my roommate told me that her ex-boyfriend's cat just had kittens and she's not producing milk. So I'm taking two of the kittens and fostering them. Um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a, a real grand old time. Um, so yeah. The, the shop I work at, I manage the Instagram. I want to get to 100 followers. If you would not mind, please follow me. Please support me. I love you. Also, please, please support me upon Instagram as well. I, um, as of my last check on my work Instagram, I was at 80 followers. And on my personal, I was at 201. So, you know, help a girl out. Because a lot of, um, a lot of shops, like, the lowest I have seen follower accounts for, for shops, is, like, 500. So I want to at least get there. But I know that a lot of sh uh, shops prefer having higher ones, um, and they'll go for whatever gal. And I don't, I don't want to sound like, oh, I only want to PR for shops because I want to get free stuff. Because getting free stuff is totes cool. But I also want to PR for shops because there are some shops that I think are really, really cool and they do PR. Um, and I just, you know, I want to I wanna help support them. Like, I want them to do good and I want them to keep going. Um, like, later, later you'll see um, a haul video from me from... Um, a shop called, like, an import, I will have all, like, quite a bit, like, quite a bit from a shop called Armadillo Amor, um, and I didn't have it in the budget to buy stickers from her until she was closing, like, so at this moment she's not closed, like, officially forever closed, but while I chat, I'm gonna, um, flip through, okay? Um... But it's just, it's really sad because I wanted to buy more from her and I didn't even really realize that it was her closing shop and that's why I was getting so much of a discount, really. Oh, um, yeah, so highlighter arrives. Um, pink highlighter is my meals, green highlighter is the shop Insta, and then pastel purple highlighter is my Instagram. Um, and then these boxes here are like Splatoon zone things that I, uh, I only put those on days that I work so I know like what I would be playing before and after. Um, so that was yesterday there. Um, so here we are today. Um, I have this little glitter header and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm just going to slap it here. And we're gonna call it good. Wow, that's crooked, but whatever. Um, oh, I didn't strap this guy back in. Um, but basically, she's hopefully not closed forever, but I, I feel like if I had 
been able to buy from her more often or more period because that was my first order from her that you know she closed due to financial reasons and like not being able to support the shop i know that one person supporting a shop is not enough to like keep it open but like if i could if i could like get peep eyes on her shop you know it, it's one of those things um anyway i do actually have this whole insert decorated so i'm gonna keep um keep <laughs> keep flipping um yeah it's just i don't know sticker wish list because i i'm out of a lot of my like icon type things now um a farmer's market run sticky note if i don't totally blow the budget here with sticky notes i'm going to the farmer's market that day um let's yeah play with me filming yeah and you mark that ahead of time yeah so you know if you see up here teeny tiny print the times i work so usually i film um playing with me sunday or saturday or sunday and then they go live on monday hauls and everything else are just going to be filmed as stuff hauls are going to be filmed as stuff come comes in and then extra um ones are going to be filled filmed as we go along um i currently have a list of ideas in my noggin um but i need to put them down on paper um so yeah here's just here it is here's my tracker i am behind today's like today's the 10th and i haven't tracked anything since the 6th um and then here is more like instagram scribbles for the shop and then we have my sticky note stash these were also purchased at daiso i love these I wish I could find these. These are my last four, and I'm probably not going to use them ever. They're so cute. Um, these are more of the sticky notes from Michaels, though. Let me slip. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slip this back in. And then we're just gonna... Oh, and then these ones were ones that I ordered from Ho the Hobonichi website when I ordered this. Um, and I'm actually gonna slip this out for, we for when we do the flip so everything lays nicely. Oh, and I'm going to put my pin back in. Um, so this is from that same gal in Bangkok. Um, I don't know what it says. I think that that's Korean. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. These are some more stickers I got from Stick With, uh, Sticker, Sticker Me Stickers. Um, that's an Etsy shop on Etsy. That's, that's an Etsy shop on Etsy. Wow, aren't you smart, cat? Um, anyway, these ones are really, really cute because they have little gold flakes and they're little crystals. Um, I was originally planning on decorating a month's crystal theme. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do that this, anymore. Um, testing out a pen in a really inopportune spot, so I'm probably gonna slap a sticker over it at some point. Um, local soap place, soap is bomb. Uh, definitely do check her out. I will link her as well. Um, this is more, this is a sticker from the place that had the, uh, the, the mermaid, the mermaid happy, happy male ones. Um, more of those succulents. I don't really know what I'm doing with these, so I'm not really even using them. Like, I'm using this kind of bullet journaly, and you'll see in the months later. Um, hey, look, at least I've done my mood tracking so far, and I've also done my step tracking. You will see that my steps are not the best. I am not the most active of girls. It's okay. I have chronic pain issues. Um, this is March. 
which when I was originally going to be having a Bujo and my Hobonichi Weeks. Is this centered? I feel like it's not really centered. Um, help. Are we centered now? Okay. Okay, we're centered now, ouch. And you will see that the only goal I did not accomplish out of March was the 30 minutes of daily Nihongo practice. I was sick and busy and tired. Um, anyway, and then we have a tab that says monthly here. I feel like I should have put that here, but whatever, it's here now. Um, and then this is April, and you will see the color code in action. This is where I have that charm from my mom. Um, these little horoscopes are from a local magazine. It is free, so if you are in Florida and you have a metaphysical shop near you, you may be able to check it out. It's called Horizons Magazine. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, and then <laughs> it's clipped to this week here. So I'm gonna pop that guy out so we can flip through some more. Um, so I have the color stripes down for May at this point. Um, and I have the kits that I'm going to use for May again. Um, this may actually change because I found a gal out of either, it's either Hong Kong or Singapore, and she has one that's like kittens and coffee, and it's like perfect, and it's like the monthly is kittens and coffee, so it makes it really obvious that I wanted to do like a cafe theme for May, and I just realized that I went way overboard. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm just excited. Um, and this is something I have noticed about the Hobonichis, um, at least the Hobonichi weeks. Um their moons are different and that's because of the time difference between here and japan i am on the east coast i am in florida lame my smoothie's gone um so you know i've marked out a couple months in advance whether the moons are right or if they're wrong um yeah and then we have june I don't know if I'm doing strawberry or celestial with this one because um, if Sam at Happy Scrappy, she's like the owner, the lead designer, the evil mastermind behind it all, um, if she doesn't make an Oceany kit in time for me to use it for July, I'm going to be using um, February's kit, which was celestial for my birth month. July is my birth month. But if she does, I'm going to use Celestial for June, I think. Or I might move it to September. I don't know right now. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, like, yeah. This sticky note, moons are correct. Moons are one day late. Um, in a couple of places, I have marked in um, planetary transits. And then we have kits. These are, like, I haven't assigned them anywhere. Because you can see, like, three of them are for the celestial type of idea. And then sea green is more of the ocean-y feel. Um, August is, like, summer stuff. I think, I think somewhere I had, like, a vague idea of what, what themes I wanted to do for each month. But I don't know. Maybe I scrapped that sticky note? I don't know. Um, so we have Pink Lemonade and Rustic Wedding, um, which are cute ones. And we have a list of unassigned kits. So we have Gemstone from The Giving Girl, Amethyst, Trist, and Lemon or Love. So September at this point may wind up actually being purple. Um, I don't know. Or I could just, you know, hold on to them and just have it be a thing. Um, planetary transits are written out for, like, everywhere. But I haven't like written in movies or anything like that. Aha! Oh no, this is more planetary transits for 2020 after this planner ends. So we're getting into the weekly pages now and I just have to tell you that they're rough. Really, really rough. Um, I like having a pretty planner, but I also don't care if my handwriting's nice. Like, if I can read it, we're good. We Gucci. If I can't read it, what the fuck ever. Um, 
So, prefacing. Um, so originally I was going to do March as Cherry Blossom theme, and then I realized that, like, everybody else was doing, like, was just doing their March kits to be Cherry Blossom themed, but they wouldn't get here until April. So I'm like, okay, we'll just do, we'll just do March as general garden theme. Um, did I mention that while I, when I was trying to do a Bujo for March, I was going to have it be a uh, Legend of Zelda two-year anniversary? Because that's what that, like, washi tape in the front in the monthly was, um, was all of the stuff from there. Um, in my Bujo, I did, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I traced the logo and a whole nine yards, because I don't, your, your girl don't have a printer. Yeah. Anyway. So this one was with the like Legend of Zelda sort of idea in mind. Um, yeah, so I guess I didn't like this to-do thing. I think I'm gonna try it again for next week. Just gonna try this guy again. Um, and I started tracking the weather. And I stuck with tracking the weather for a bit, I believe. I've got some empty space here. Empty spaces here. Like that's gonna be a thing is like, you'll notice that there's a bit of em empty space here and there. Um, this one, we went and we saw Captain Marvel. <sighs> I feel like if there had been a sticker there, and, um, there, again. Weather. I started adding in meals on my nice weekly to-do that had no particular day. I totally could have put things on the day that I did them, but I didn't for whatever reason. Um, there's the work schedule. If you're wondering, yeah, that's what this over here is. And that's kind of the way I keep it for the first few weeks, I believe. Ah. Just, just the first two. Weather is still there, to do still there, to buy is still there. Work is down here. Um, I start dividing it into two, so we have like the main thing that happens today and then whatever the hell else. I don't think I really liked that, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I stopped doing it. And then this was a, just like this, and all of the things that are like the same color as it, was just like a little sampler bit from Nightingale Paper Co. This is her mascot, Winston. He's like a cute little polar bear guy. Um, so I went to tracking my meals in here. I know that I ate. I just guess I didn't write anything down. And then the weather's in there. Didn't really like that. Um, so here I stopped tracking the weather entirely because I moved the weather into my garden planner. And I don't even have a garden yet, and I haven't really been keeping up with my garden planner. And it's kind of sad because I wanted a garden, and I wanted to use my tax return to buy stuff for my garden. But I wound up buying myself a whole bunch of stickers and craft stuff and shit instead of buying my garden. And I don't really regret the things that I bought with my tax return instead of my garden. But I am, like, sad that I don't have a garden. Like, I wanted a garden. A lot. Like, real bad. Anyway, um, this kit is from Dulce Planner, so like all of these in the boxes and the checklists are from her. Um, and we already hashed through who this stuff was coming from. Um, work hours, and then this green line here is actually walking the cat, because he really enjoys going on walks. And see, we have it here. So we have two full walks he went on, and then like half a walk, because he got out the door and then it was really fucking windy, and he's like, nope, no thanks. Um, it was cute. And then here we are, it, this week. And we are currently here? Yes, here. Right here. Um, I'm supposed to get my paper cutter today. And it hasn't even shipped yet. So fuck you, Amazon. Fuck you. Um, and here's my work hours. And I've brought back weather tracking for some reason. Not 100% sure why. Um, I'm out of pants. Well, I have pajama pants, but I don't have, like, leave the house pants. So I'm supposed to be doing laundry tomorrow, but I don't have any laundry money. Phew, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm sorry. I just, like, fussed with my nose. Um, yeah. Yeah. Here's this week. And um, there's my sticky note. About wanting to film a haul. So I'm just hope filming a haul in bits and bobs because not all of my stuff is showing up at once and I want to start using my stuff. I wish you could see the face I'm making right now. It's very unamused. Um, next week, I have a few things written down. I have some stickers thrown in. I have sticky notes. And then sticky notes. I was supposed to get the kittens here. 
But the kittens, the kittens are actually happening here. I'm very concerned. Um, stickers, sticky notes, sticky notes. Um, so yeah, this is what a blank late week looks like. Um, I may, I'm decorating my mom's, uh, TN for Mother's Day. Um, hopefully she doesn't watch my YouTube. Because that gives away the present. But whatever. Um... She won't know what it looks like until we're done. I think she might actually already have an idea that it is a planner, notebook, journal thing. So now we are going all the way to the back because I have nothing else of great import here. Um, this is my index for it. These are just papers I tore out of the little like extra books you can get for like $5 from it just to cover it up so I had extra space. My addresses. Hopefully when I'm editing this, like I, I find that I covered that quickly enough. Um, savings, your girl don't, your girl doesn't do savings. I'm just, just we're gonna go there. Um, Christmas savings. Each one of these boxes is $10. Um, so I'm allowing myself $50 for each person. And even if I don't like just put aside $50 for them and I just buy them little bits, I will write down whatever I buy them and then what it cost. So I don't do what I did with my little brother last year and spend probably around $200 on stuff throughout the year between his birthday in March and Christmas. And then, you know, two weeks before Christmas, he asks for a Switch. And I'm like, sure, little dude, I'll buy you a Switch. So I bought, I bought my little brother a Switch. Like, totally out of the blue. Yeah. Um, so, rest of the fam family. I've got a lot of family and people I wanna buy. This is my vision board. It's not totally done, cause this is like stuff I want. Um, Really? Sorry for the cutoff there. I just realized, oh, oh dear. It's very red all of a sudden. All right. Is that better? Hopefully that's a bit better. Went back to standing up to see where I left off because uh, my roommate called me. So apparently we aren't getting the kittens tonight. Um. That's frustrating. Anyway, this is for my garden. This is stuff I want to grow, blah, blah, blah. Date ideas. We, me and my fiance don't go on dates and it's really sad. We need to. Um, reading log. I don't read books and it's really sad and I need to. Um, mastery grocery list, which is nice. Um, Reiki training research. Herbalism training research. <coughs> my measurements, which I meant. <coughs> Eh, choking on my own spit because I'm classy um, which I meant to take in March but I will just do here whenever I remember to my quarter one wardrobe check quarter two quarter three quarter four which I just don't have like colors I want to use for Christmas yet uh, quarter one 2020 yeah my garden wishes my garden funds tracker because I'm just gonna start putting stuff in there um, my April checkbook, check register thing, um, savings things. My roommate managed to buy me one for $25, managed to thrift me, garage sale me one for 25 so I don't actually have to use that. Um, but I also want a sewing machine and a spinning wheel, um, and I also want a bike. And this is my waiting on page, and then the rest of these are empty until we get all the way back to pen tests. So yeah, we have all of the pen tests here. Um, and then some counts here, and then I have one of the little Hobonichi brand inserts in the back with a kimono um, rub-on transfer, and this is just a what I use for my tarot journal. Yeah, super cool, super neat, super simple. Not really, because I'm extra, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's my Hobonichi weeks. That's the current setup. Um, maybe, maybe next month I will show you what the new setup is, um, when it happens, and I'll actually, maybe I'll set it up with you. Who knows? But there we are. Yeah. Okay.
Bye bye. Have a good day. Good night. Good morning. Whatever it is for you. Thanks for stopping by.